Rec City is essentially nine houses scheduled for demolition in Sunnyside, Calgary that we have been given license to take over. Uh, and by we, I mean a whole group of over a hundred artists and transform into an art space, a music venue, uh, an installation space, basically. Since, I mean, the, we, there's a gallery called 809 that used to be here that was an artist-run center. And uh, when we heard that it was being torn down, we were kind of sad that 809 would be ending. So this kind of became a sort of epilogue to 809 and sort of homage also to the, the block that we all know very well. We also did it just to kind of show Calgary a lot of the artists that are here and showcase them all at once. Um, in a more a, abstract space too, yeah, like it, a non-gallery space. It's like a, a space that has a lot of freedom uh, because nothing has to be restored to a white wall atmosphere. Um, everything is just being torn down, so it allows tons of freedom to care. <laughs> These are houses, so they're really inviting spaces. Everyone's familiar with houses and how they work. You know, like the functionality of houses is no mystery. Whereas the functionality of a gallery space, it can be a little bit more vague just because it is so blank and changeable. Daunting. Yeah, and daunting, and, and it's very specific to art, whereas houses are very specific to inhabitation and domesticity and just everyday existence. And so we get to take a couple of those con concepts and, and draw them into Rec City and draw them into an art showing experience where people feel welcome no matter what and no matter who. It's not one artwork that has just one goal. It's, it's 100 artists and uh, through those 100 artists there's some artists that want to discuss Rec City, there's some artists who just want to show their work, there's some artists that just want to have fun. Uh, so yeah, I feel there's just so much here that you're going to get something, you're going to get something out of it regardless. Any kind of negative reception we've had has been uh, a good negative reception. It's, it's created a lot of conversation. Some people are a little unhappy about the houses being torn down or about uh, the kind of liberty that we've been given by the developers and things like that. But it's also stimulated a lot of other discussions that I feel are really important. I feel like something about Rec City though that is actually really exciting. Because um, a couple of people have been like, oh yeah, this is like this is like Berlin or this is like Montreal. or It's not like any of those things. It's like Calgary. It's very Calgary specific. It, like, it showcases so much of what Calgary is actually like if you can peel back the layer and get into what, you know, the, the gooey sub bits are doing. We didn't have anyone asking outright for this, but uh, maybe we felt that like this was... that there was space for this in Calgary? The, yeah. I think when we came about approaching Rex City, I don't know if everyone felt this way, but I at least knew that people were hungry for this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, after the house project and like yeah. the crazy reception we got to that. And that like, was just like one house and nine or something? $400 budget, eight, yeah. eight artists, one house, three days, a thousand people. Yeah. You know, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's not so bad. I know that with um, the house project, I remember walking by like four months after it was over and seeing these two like 14 year old girls walking down the street next to the pit where the house used to be being like, oh yeah. Yeah, before this was demolished, there was this really cool project that happened here. And being like, yeah, just like being a spectator and not saying anything to them, but just like realizing that they, that they'd stored it in their brains somewhere, you know? And, and I so, get that feeling from people who were going through, like even kids who are like, why are they going to tear this down? Yeah, so like they're obviously can't registering. Can here forever? Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think they're definitely registering in their memory. It, it, it'll stand the test of time. Yeah. But, but beyond that though, I think that there's another element to that that's really important to talk about and that's will it stand the test of time with our artists? Because even though this is a project that's like for the community, ultimately it's the hundred artists that are involved in it that are like may or may not be paid, you know, that may or may not get something tangible yeah. out of this in the end because their work is being demolished with the houses. Mm -hmm. um, will they remember it? when it's over and will it have any influence on their future practice and their future work and you know like whether that's like the endless publicity we've been getting so far and like they can add that <laughs> to their CV or yeah. like I'm sure it, it helps them yeah. it's probably varied, yeah. and will these communities remain too like will these artists work together again mm -hmm. with us again will we all hate each other at the end of the week <laughs>
Uh, we had some of the neighbors come by today and they walked through the house. They live across the alley and I've, I've been worried about noise because it has been noisy when there are nights with music. Uh, and they were, you know, like kind of middle-aged couple and they were so excited to be here. Like they said that they watched it grow across their alleyway and were so, you know, just delighted to see what it had turned into. We've already had a couple of interesting emails. Um, Someone asked me yesterday, like, will you do this no matter where it's happening? Like, if we had a house scheduled for demolition in, I don't know, Lake Bonavista or something yeah. like that, would we do this? And it's, I do an think, thing. I think you need a ripe environment for it. And this is, this is way more certain as a, as a place for people to actually come and. Could be interesting it. to do it in the burbs though. If somebody actually paid for it, yeah, no, we would. I feel it. like it would be okay, and that'd be a hard thing to ask for. We couldn't ask our friends to like. We've been asking, everyone here is just doing this on a volunteer basis, yeah. so there's if so people many live people there helping out, right? but uh, if we couldn't ask all our friends in. to do all this yeah. <laughs> Every, all, all year long, just, we'd have no more friends. <laughs> <laughs>